all right you guys um uh, welcome back to my channel today um i haven't uploaded in a minute um things just been going on lately i was sick last week like i was just tore up and i could not film but today i wanted to film some new perfume that i got um actually i have another one coming today but i don't think it's going to be in time when i make this video so I'll probably have to make a separate video. But we're going to be talking about the new YSL Intense. Um, what is it called? Le Parfum, I think is what it is. The new YSL one. And then we're going to be talking about K. Ali La Fest. So if you want to hear my opinions, then keep watching. So the first perfume I'm going to talk about is YSL Leave Intense Le Parfum. I think that's how you pronounce it. So basically, it kind of looks like the... um. What is it? The intense one, but the juice is darker. I'm gonna um get the intense one and I'm gonna show you the difference. So here's the um regular intense, and then here is the newer one. So as you can see, it's like a slight difference. Like the OG Libre Intense it has more like a even though it is intense, like the the syrupy kind of smell, the lavender vanilla. This is more cleaner than this one. Is there a difference between the two? Um, I feel like it's a slight difference. Not major though. Um, this one, the Le Parfum, this one is more like sweet and it smells more vanilla and a little bit more spicy versus the original. I feel like this one kind of smells like Elisab, um, Girl of Now the syrup part it's not salty or anything but that syrupy vanilla smell it kind of reminds me of that and it smells like that and it smells like it has more vanilla than this one this one has vanilla and lavender but i really don't really smell the lavender too much in this one this one i smell the lavender but i could tolerate it because i'm not a big um lavender girl at all but this one it's just seemed like it's sweeter and it has it seems like it has orange blossom in here like an orange blossom vibe right away when you smell this you might feel like this smells exactly like this because it's not much of a major difference however i can tell the difference and i love why i sell leave intense i don't like the og one i feel like it stinks on me but when you let this sit on your skin you can tell a slight difference in here do i feel like you need both of these it depends. If you really, really like this one, but you want it to be sweeter or different, then I would say try this one. Get like the travel size. But if you don't care for this one or it's just a like and it's like, okay, I just like this one, then you probably don't need to get this one because even though it's a slight difference, you're probably going to be upset because you're probably expecting more when really it's like, okay, it's a slight difference, but it's not like a dramatic difference, you know? And the longevity, I believe, is like maybe seven hours. So the longevity is there. And I feel like it's worth the money. And I feel like this would be better during like the real cold winter months. This one, I felt like it would be good too. But like, I don't know. Which one do I like more? So out of the La Parfum and the Intense, which one do I like the most? I don't know like I feel like I always end up liking the original but this one is like I don't know I feel like I might like this one more than the original I have to keep wearing the testing this out and mixing it with different stuff but I really feel like this when it gets colder and like the weather starts to cool down this might be it because I just love I love how like sweet it is and deep like this one is deeper than this and a little bit spicy just a little bit this one smells more fresher it's still sweet but it's feel like this is fresher do i feel like this is a must-have it depends on you that's all i can say it actually depends on you and whether you're obsessed with um leave intense or if you're not so if you don't care for this or it's just like, okay, this is a like, 
then don't get this one, okay? Or unless you didn't like this one because it's not sweet enough for you, then get this one. Or if you just like me, you just, I just love Libra Intense. So even though it's not a major difference, I feel like this is like a backup bottle and I'm okay with that. So next is going to be the new K.I. Lee La Fest Burning Cherry. Now, um, I've been seeing a lot of people comparing this to Lost Cherry. I have never smelled Lost Cherry ever. Like, ever. So, I can't compare it, but I will say... Let me spray this. This is pretty good. I wore this yesterday. And right off the bat, you get the smell of, like, cherry. Like, almost like the cherries that's in the... Uh, chocolates the box of chocolates that you get that sweet medicinal type of cherry um it can get a little too medicinal if you spray too much but it's not bad like it's not headache inducing so i smelled this the cherry and then after a while the cherry like goes away just a little bit and then you get the praline and then what's the other note they have in here I could smell like the wood, like the patchouli and the woodiness of the perfume. Why am I bouncing so much? <laughs> but I like this. I will say I like this. And I feel like I'm going to get the 1.7 ounce. And the reason why I want to is because I'm an oversprayer. And look, like look how much I have left. So I'm going to get the 1.7 ounce eventually. And I feel like this would be good during the fall time. It's pretty. I feel like it's a cute, pretty smell. And maybe this is like really one of my first cherry um, fragrances I smell since I've never smelled Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. So I would say if you never smelled it, try getting this. Um, but if you have smelled it, you might. You might like it, you might not. It all depends. This is what I expected um, K. Ali's, what is it called? Invite Only to smell. Now that one, kind of don't like it anymore. At first when I got it, I was just like, okay, this is a little weird. Like, but I kind of like it. Like something was off with the undertone. I think it was the tobacco note that was just not sitting well with me. But after a while, it just smells like quarters. I don't know why. But I think I was expecting it to smell like this, and it really wasn't. I think a lot of people were expecting... um invite only to have this type of smell that one's a little bit more different i'm gonna try it one more time when it gets cold again and if not i'm gonna just give it away but this is pretty good and i don't feel like i don't feel like i'm gonna lose like interest or not like this anymore because you know with fragrances you can like it at first and then not like it anymore or you don't like it at first but then you do like it this one i think she did her thing with this one I do like it, and I can see myself wearing this more. One thing I can say, um, the longevity is okay. Like, after three to four hours, it kind of turns into a skin scent. That's the only thing I don't like. I just wish that it lasted longer, and I wish it projected more. But maybe because I have the travel spray, I haven't been really overspraying like I normally do. And maybe because I haven't been able to overspray because of the size of it, Maybe that's why it's not projecting, because it's like little squirts. But, I'm going to try it again and get the 1.7 ounce to see if I like it. Um, I do love this, and I feel like this would be great to pair with certain Bath & Body Works. Uh, such as, uh, what's that um, Bath & Body Works in? Autumn something. I can't remember, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Or that Hemp's Lotion, the Hemp's Apple Lotion. I feel like that would pair good with this as well. So, yeah. Um... I think that's what I want to talk about today. Oh. So, one more thing. This is just random and added in here. This is the perfume that I bought. It's called Mango Skin by Vim Perfumery. I think that's how you pronounce it. Y'all, this is so pretty. Like, I get the height with this. I love mangoes, okay? I love eating mangoes. That's, like, one of my favorite fruits. Mangoes and pineapples. I love eating them. This exactly smells like mango skin like ripe mangoes that you're peeling the skin off of and you take a whiff of it this one is it this one is so pretty i know i'm late to uh the mango trend and all that but i just love it the longevity i'll say is about 
for me about four to five hours. However, I didn't pair this with anything. And normally I like to pair my perfume with like lotions or body creams to make it last longer. But if I'm testing a perfume out, a lot of times I like to just test the perfume out without layering it just to see how it performs on its own. I cannot wait to like layer this up. I know summer is coming to an end, but I really do like this perfume a lot. And I feel like if you are a mango lover or you like fruity scents, get this one. This is not the childish type of plastic fruity scents, but this smells like real fruit. Like, I'm so glad I finally got my hand on this because it is hard to get this. Like, if you into fragrances and stuff you know that it is hard to get this fragrance right here because it's always sold out and i finally at least got the 1.7 so um i feel like it's worth it i feel like it's juicy i feel like it's pretty mango tropical vibes um yeah i love this one a lot so um, this was like a short video um i hope you guys like this one i'm still like a little bit sick as you can tell i'm like congested and my stomach hurt too so um if you did like this video please like comment subscribe and tell me what you think about those perfumes that i listed which is ysl libre and tesla parfum k ali what is it called la fest burning cherry and mango skin so i mainly i want to hear the opinion of this one but let me know what you guys think and i will see you on the next video bye